guys, this is Candace. And this is Tyler. With Cracked Brain. Woohoo! And we're here at Wizarding Days. Yeah. Uh, we are going to go on an adventure of fantasy and magic. So come join us. It'll be fun. I am here with the wonderful Evil Queen. Hello, cousins. <laughs> how, how much fun is it being evil? It's the best. It is the best, isn't yes, it? Is it? You gotta be. I'm evil. Yes. There's no other option. Now, now the problem with being evil no, is that no, problem. no, no. There are certain people that are just a thorn in our side. Would you yes. agree? So what do you do about that? You pluck them out. Pluck them out? Yes. What? Why not like a poison apple or something? Poison apple works. I tried the huntsman route, but he was a complete failure. <sighs> well, that, that's Next that's. Next time, I'm using the Mandalorian. No, route. no, no, no. You you put your trust in someone else. You have to do stuff yourself. Yes. 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 Okay. Well, that's good. Never trust minions. Never. No. They will well, fail you. They will fail you. Yes. But they're fun to chuck. Yes. You just pick them up and you just go. He was he was getting a little chubby though, my husband. So. <laughs> oh, you're you're feeding him too many uh, wild boar. I know. I need to many. get him out in the forest, running around a little more. Okay. Well, okay. We're here at Wizarding Days. Yes. What are you are you excited to see all these other false witches and wizards? Their competition. Their competition. What yes. are we gonna do about them? I'm gonna poison the butterbeer. I, I'm gonna get some of that butter beer because I I, I really go want now, some. Because very soon. Are they open yet? Yes. Very soon it will not be safe to drink. Well, thank you, Miss Queen. Your Majesty. Come on, I'm gonna be ruling the wall. Yes. All right. Well, again, thank you. You're welcome. And we'll uh, don't kill me, okay? Okay. Not right now, anyway. <laughs> Hey guys, we're here with Spooky Wit here at Wizarding Days. So, what brings you to Wizarding Days today? Um, I'm here with the uh, Winter Fair. Winter Fair. Uh, tell us more about that. So, the Winter Fair happens at the first weekend of December, and it's like a winter renaissance fair, but with more fairies, more fantastic. We've got live animals. Um, I'm their highwayman, and then I'm, and then I work for the Queen. Awesome. Uh, do you do any cosplay there? Yes, I'm the highwayman with my horse. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, and then we have, uh, we have a Hufflepuff goat. Nice. So, yep, so she's, uh, she's there for the kids, and then I'm there for the kids, and so and then I'm hired to mug people. Nice. So I think we, we mugged a brony last year. <laughs> Those bronies, always getting mugged. Uh, what if you had to be in Harry, any Harry Potter house? What house would you be sorted into? Oh, I'm, I'm Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff? Yeah, Puff Pride. All right. <laughs> My horse is Ravenclaw, though. So, where can we find information about you or the Winter Fair? Um, you can find uh, all of my stuff. I'm all over um, the social media. So, Facebook, you can find me at Spooky Wit. Uh, Twitch, you can find me. Uh, I just started my Twitch. And then um, I have a, a website that's being built right now. So, and that's also Spooky Wit. So, but yeah, if you go to my Facebook page, uh, Spooky Wit, then uh, all my links to all my social media is there, and you can watch my live streaming of cosplays. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Have a great Wizarding Day. I need a giant bottle of butterbeer. Alcoholic, okay. preferably. So, well. what's that? This is this, this is how I get proof that you are going to kill me. But that we, doesn't that, explain what We've it got is. your skeleton. See? We've already got that one, but we... we well, I have it. Mine? No, but what is it? It's a microphone. What's it do? Why does a mic? It, I, I, I know you ladies have... have, have I'm 13. Have, get off me. What? <laughs> have... M lovely songs to entra entrap men. Yes. So this is here to capture it so other Don't men... Don't capture my voice like Ariel. No, 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 she no, She was no. dumb enough to fall for that and that's not what I want. Yeah, Ariel's kind of... Actually, like... that that octopus lady's over there. Oh, Ursula? There's yes, that's her name. Fake. She's, She's actually fake. not that evil, but like, whatever. If you want to talk evil. Evil's fun, though. Yeah. So, well, well, what, what, 
brings you ladies to wizarding days? Uh, children. Children? Yeah, there's a lot of children there's here. There's so many kids. And, like, they're Wait. really yummy. They're yeah, really yummy? Yeah, a little one. Look, it's right there. Yeah, we ate this one. Oh. His name was Teddy. Teddy? Yeah. Yeah. And that one over there is Kelvin. Mm -hmm. Kelvin's That's over Kelvin. there. Yep. That one was Timothy. And up there was Carl. Yep. Oh, okay. So, how long ago did you eat them? Uh, like, you don't need to know that. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, how do you prepare them? Do you just eat them raw, or do we... What kind well, of heathens do we look like? It's well, like sushi is only... really good. Okay, but that is cannibalism. Yeah. We're talking about actual food. I'm going to go for some sushi later. Which you want to come? Your... I'm down. Ah! <laughs> Get to get the the eggs on top and everything. We eat him already. He's getting on my nerves. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hi. Well, how are we gonna cook him? I think I don't know. We've got the the the, 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 the dry ice. Let's stick him in the cauldron. The yeah, cauldron. The cauldron. Yeah. yeah, that's always good though. Well, all right, ladies. I'm gonna sneak away. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, I'm gonna not. I'm gonna no. sneak away before. You just presented us to your, you presented your, like, not even I thought out plan it. to us, the people who are, you're trying to get away from. Yeah, what you're do you telling think everybody doing? that you're getting eaten. Where no. are you going? No. Help me. No. Help me. No. Say bye. I'm Tyler with Cracked Brain. Now, uh, I'm terrible with names, so let's let's hear a little bit about you. <laughs> I'm Kiki Feria, cosplayer, geeky girl next door. <laughs> oh, fun, fun. Uh, we're here at Wizarding Days, obviously. Um, does doesn't look like you're dressed up as a wizard. I am not. I'm going rocking my mutants today. That's the school I'm I'm from. So. Very very disappointed, but also proud because well, X Men's awesome. X Men is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so so you did a a panel here. Um, yes. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? So it was a panel on villainy, and so talking about how villains are constructed, why we love them so much, why they're so sexy, <laughs> and we talked about just a plethora. We actually went over a time um, because we were just talking about how awesome they are. Anyone from uh, Mr. Freeze to um, Killmonger in the new Black Panther movie. Um, God. L and well not L, uh, Light from Death Note and like it was just like everybody that we could think of, the Joker, like it was just of amazing. Of course, there's never enough time to fit in everything you need, right? Never, no, never. But these villains are awesome oh and it was cool to really just discuss and unpack why we love them so much and why they're needed in stories. Yeah. Uh, so is there anything here at Wizarding Days you're you're wanting to do, you're looking forward to? I'm about to make my rounds and see all my awesome friends and all just right. enjoy being friends, in costume friends are awesome. and cosplayers be we're just everywhere. <laughs> oh, that's that's great. If people want to find you. How how can they get a hold of you? I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, uh, Vero, the new social media that just came out. I'm I'm everywhere. So just type in Kiki Furia, F U R I A, um, and also be on the lookout for our new podcast that's coming out, the SLC Sit Down. We're going to be doing monthly episodes on that too. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, I am here with Mercedes, V Fire Cosplay, yeah. and we're here at Wizarding Days. Wizarding Days, woo! This is my first time. Yeah. What brings you to Wizarding Days today? Uh, my friend Sadie got free tickets and was like, hey, you want to go to this thing? And I was like, sure. <laughs> that's why I'm here. And that's how I got here. <laughs> but I also love Harry Potter. I mean, nerd. And, uh, <laughs> uh, Green Jello already like spoiled this for me, but what house are you in? Oh, Gryffindor. Yeah, they told me they're like, she's a Gryffindor. She'd break down any door. I will break the door. <laughs> I mean, I might not be strong enough, but I sure will try. <laughs> we heard a joke earlier that Gryffindor, if approached by a locked door, Gryffindors will break the door down, Slytherins will pick the lock, Ravenclaws will find the key, and Hufflepuffs will knock. That's very accurate. Yeah. <laughs> Breaking down the door is much more dramatic. Come on. <laughs> so what what do you got planned to do today? I know this is a pretty chill con compared to a lot of the others. It's pretty chill. I've been super enjoying it. I uh, bought stuff. Oh, um, what's his name? I have not named him yet. I'm still figuring it out. He's very cute. <laughs> he is cute. Um, but yeah, he's from the the P 
pink Pudo shop. Thank you. Pink Pudo shop. It's so cute. No. Yeah. Um, when I get him a name, I'll, I'll post on Facebook. I'm still thinking about it. Okay. Names are important. <laughs> um, but yeah, after this, I'm uh, actually going to meet with uh, Stefan, Stephen. Yeah. Stefan. Um, <laughs> and we got to her first. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I. Uh, yeah, after that, I think I'm doing a game night with some friends probably nice yeah yeah so if uh what would be your favorite kind of magic or if you could teach anything at hogwarts what would you teach oh. <laughs> <laughs> um how to sew with your mind that's a good one because Rar rarity the mm -hmm. the pony does that she sews with her mind with her horn <laughs> i saw that and i was like you're absolutely a rarity <laughs> <laughs> like you she, uh. she reminds me of you I, uh, I think Transfiguration would be really cool too. That would be cool. Because McGonagall is like my idol. Then you would just, if you could transform anything, you would just be like, here's a bolt of fabric. Now it's a beautiful cosplay. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, today I want to be a male. There we go. Crossplay done. <laughs> yep. Makeup. I'm all for that. M makeup <laughs> done. Hair color. <laughs> Everything. I mean, changing hair color, that'd be so nice because then it's like, I don't have to wear an itchy wig, I don't have to. <laughs> to style like I could just magically style it and don't have to worry about like my thin thin hair you know most people think I'm blonde really yeah I would never have guessed yeah like, it's because I always cosplay blonde characters <laughs> <laughs> so I mean until until you master the magic of transfer figuration you're just gonna have to keep cosplaying yep it's the closest we got right now it's the closest I've got to magic uh, so where can people find you uh, you can find me at, uh, they search V Fire, so the V is in like the letter V, Fire Cosplay. Um, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram that way. Uh, I just got on that new Vero thing. I'm on there as Vermilion Fire. Uh, so, Vermilion with one L. I don't usually use the full thing because no one can spell Vermilion. <laughs> I may even be spelling it wrong. <laughs> That's, easy. That's yeah. why you just go V. Yeah, so it's usually just V Fire. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so. All right. Awesome. Killings. Well, thank you. <laughs> so, what's great about conventions is the families that cosplay together. So we've got Hagrid, Professor Trollaway, we've got Dobby, Harry Potter, and of course, Hermione Granger. Yeah. So, what got you, what got you guys into cosplaying together? Because it's fun. It's fun? It's fun. We do it as a family. It's. Um, I like the idea of family costumes, and my kids have ran with it, so we're enjoying it while it lasts. Okay, so they really enjoy it. It's not something you're just they like, you're wearing this. Oh, no, you guys come, come up, up with, with it. Theme every that's year. it is. Okay, well, that's perfect, because I love, I love the time spinners that you guys have. Isn't that just really cute? <laughs> I got a watch. You got a watch? I know. Ah. Well, hopefully no one gives you a sock, because then you'll just run away on your own now. Sometimes <laughs> that's what we want. <laughs> oh. oh, so what? What's the, some of the fun things you've seen today at Wizarding Days? Um, all the artwork. The, the artwork, artwork has Is been there beautiful. Is something that you want to name off that you liked that you saw? The pocket watches. The pocket watches. That's been pretty fun, so... Show what, what, what did you what? get that you were so excited about? Definitely. Oh, a I little. was excited. You were excited about the wand. I was excited about all the nice wands. Well, I think, I think we need to have a duel. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can, uh -oh. can you disarm me? Or, or, or... Come on. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Where'd it go? Well, I, I, I lost it, so... You know, it's, it's been fun. I enjoy seeing you guys all the time, so thank you guys for coming. And uh, we'll see you at the next convention. Sir, are you aware that you're an owl? Sup, guys? I'm here with Rain Emery Cosplay at Wizarding Days. It's day two. I just got here. I'm on a caffeine crash. I'll probably make no sense in this interview, but whatever. So, Rain, do you ever see sunshiny days? Oh, wait. Get it? Because rain. 
<laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> okay, so have you been here both days? Um, no, just today. Just today? What's been your favorite thing about it? The dogs. <clears throat> the dogs? Yes. There are dogs around here. There are dogs. Around Where? Here. I think it's over there. Or puppies. Okay, we gotta stop this recording and go find the dogs, man. No, not really. Don't stop it. <laughs> so, tell me about your cosplaying. So I'm cosplaying Linko from Hyrule Warriors. Yep. Simple as that. With uh, everybody saying like, what the hell, Nintendo, why'd you name her that name? Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. I can't believe it's stuck, honestly. <laughs> everybody thinks that she's the female version of Link or his sister or whatever, but it's not confirmed, so we don't really know what she is. Ooh, she's a mystery. Hey, mystery. Out of all the Legend of Zelda iterations of Link that you've seen, which one, if you had the power to turn into for one day, would you do? So any of the links? Any of the links. Mm, I'd have to say Twilight Princess. I'd say Wind Waker, because I'm already short enough. <laughs> if you could pick any form of magic to have, whatever element, whatever you want, what would you have? Mm, I would say shape shifting. Shape shifting? Yeah. Make cosplay ten times easier. Uh, right? <laughs> do you know how much you could get away with as well? Right? You can totally disguise yourself as Jessica Negri, pop up in Utah and watch all the guys go like, what? If there's one thing you could do at Wizarding Days and not get in trouble for it, what would you do? Um, probably fly a broom around the ceiling. Fly a broom around the ceiling? Yep, yep. Not make a cauldron or no, jinx the hell boring. out of people? Actually, jinxing might help. Like, being up there and jinxing people at the same time. Be like, ha, yeah. nope, ha, no, no. nope. But yeah, so there we have it. That's our interview with Raina Emery. Catch you guys later. Hey guys, I am over here at the Madhouse Co Custom Costumes booth, um, which is re kind of really nice because this is the, the convention center is just kitty corner from you guys. Right, we are right across the street on State Street, 9350 South State. We walked over here with all our stuff, so it was nice oh. to do something local, yeah. Oh, good, good. You just walked right over, but they, they provide you with the tables? Yes. Okay, correct. that's good. So, most people don't know about how getting costumes or something. They're a little bit curious. Um, what can you do to help them out? We can do anything you want. I actually opened the store for the specific reason of being able to make that one costume that you've had in your head since you were in school okay. and you've always wanted it from a book or a movie or whatever it was, um, but you can't exactly order it from someplace. That's always tricky. Yes. You look all around for places and I can't find it. So. Right. So you come into me, I do your measurements, we pick okay. out some fabrics, we do yes. the whole thing from scratch, and it'll be exactly what you want it to be by the time it's finished. Because oh, oh. I have so many ideas I want to do, but I don't have any time, so right. I, I've been just meaning for like the past years to come down mm -hmm. to you guys. I've got some costumes I want to do, cool. but I definitely, you know, it's on my list to do. Good. But going through, where, where can they find you, actually? Uh, Again, we already said on State Street, but... Right. 9350 South State Street is our right. address, and then... Um, we've got a, fa a Facebook page and a website. Okay. Madhouse Costumes. Yeah. And if you don't, if you don't know where it is, if you're driving down State Street, it's a red building. Yeah. So you can't miss it. Actually, you probably will miss it. You're like, <laughs> there's the red building, because I've done that actually. So thank you again. Um, so we'll hope to see you again soon, real quick. I'd love that. We are here with Sir Barrington. Look at him. He's so great. What's up, nerds? I am here with Ren Fisher Creations, the ever beautiful, ever lovely Ren. Hi. <laughs> Anyways, so, Ren, you just started working with Beck Leather and Crafts. How is that? It's a lot of fun. I really enjoy working there, and I really enjoy doing cosplay classes and promoting our cosplay stuff. So when you say cosplay classes, what kind of classes do you teach? We teach LED classes, leather classes, warbler classes, airbrushing classes. We're going to be doing going to be doing some mold making classes and along with some foam classes as well and central and a bunch of other stuff we teach a lot of classes so basically like everything your specialty is everything 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 everything, everything. <laughs> <laughs> so Ren can you tell me what a day in the life of your crafting time frame that sounded better in my head what's it like when you craft can you give us an insight 
There is no set schedule. I try to squeeze it into whatever time I have. Now that I'm working full time, it's usually at night um, before I go to bed or on my days off when I'm not in school because I'm also a full time student right now. Um, Insane! Yeah, so I'm, I'm finding ways to kind of bring my work down while keeping revenue and products up. So, is there a lot of crying involved? No. How does she do it? Seriously, how? Magic. That's fair. Speaking of magic, we're at Wizarding Base. You're at the booth with Beck. I am. So, what's your favorite thing about it? We're doing a lot of cool stuff. I really like being able to be here with my friends, and Beck was lovely enough, along with Wizarding Days, to provide us with some tickets so that we could have some cosplayers here. Um, we're also doing fun leather crafting activities, which is a lot of stuff that we do at Beck, along with selling prints and all that kind of fun stuff. So what have you got to offer at the table right now? I have some pre-orders from some res resin, pre-orders for some resin casts along with some resin casts that I have right now of various props and prints. Damn, girl! The prints are incredible, by the way. Y'all gotta, like, buy some. I got one for free, and I'm, like, ever blessed. And I still owe you one. <laughs> <laughs> if you could have any magic power, any element, whatever, what would you pick? Transformation. Transformation meaning? Basically, like, Mystique from the X-Men. That's literally what Sarah said. I Not mean, literally, but okay, shape-shifting. Like you could do, okay, shape-shifting. <laughs> same difference. <laughs> really, though. That's yes. a pretty good power, though. Yeah. So, like I asked Sarah, if you could do one thing here, that no matter, you wouldn't get in trouble for doing anything, what would you do? Blow up the ocean. I feel personally attacked by this. Make sure I'm out of the ocean first, okay? I hate you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> well, anyway, so there you have it. Ren Fisher Creations. She's a babe. Go follow her, like her stuff, subscribe, whatever. See you later, guys. <laughs> Someone left an awful mess down there. We were talking, and you told me a very interesting fact, because actually yesterday, um, some sirens were attacking me, so the rest of the Crack Brain crew gave me up to the sirens so that they could give away. Now we're over here with the mermaids, so what, what's the difference between a mermaid and a siren? So traditionally a mermaid is a half woman, half fish. Sirens from Greek mythology had the head and torso of a woman okay. with the birds and feet, I'm sorry, wings and feet of a bird. Oh, so they got wings? They have wings. Okay. Um, they are, they do both sing, that's where they usually get confused. However, while sirens would lure ships to the rocks and sailors to their death, mermaids in most cultures were actually considered good luck. That's why they okay, put them on the luck. bows of their ship and ah, they would actually try and lure mermaids for good weather. See, I just thought they were bad luck. I guess for me personally, women are just bad <laughs> luck, but... Oh, no! <laughs> so, that's why they, they, they gave me to the sirens so they could give it away. And then we got the mermaids, which are actually on the other side of the convention. Yep. So I guess, do, do mermaids and sirens get along? Not they... normally. I okay. mean, we're, we, we have a truce when we're at events like this, but, you know, okay. normally not really. Okay. You know, bad so, reputation. Bad and reputation. Stuff. And now you're here. Are you just help safeguarding them or? I'm kind of their gopher person. They okay. need they need food. They need water. They need to you know go take a nap. Yes, I have to carry yes. Because I was I was a fan of Splash and you know they, they need their water a lot yep. of times. So well that's been fun. So um, thank you again for giving me that Absolutely. information. So we'll see you guys next time. See you next time. Hey guys, I am here with both members of Green Jello. If you guys want to introduce yourselves. Hi there, um, I'm Pannon. I've been cosplaying about 17 years. Um, recent, well, I cosplay with uh, Garnet Runestar here. Garnet. I'm Garnet Runestar. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've done a lot of international cosplay, uh, two time world reps, both in the Netherlands and Japan. I'm trying to think yeah. of what else sounds fancy. <laughs> Well, that's that's actually already like insanely <laughs> impressive. All right, you guys are both judges for a lot of cosplay contests. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. 
So and I know uh, you just got, got back from Katsu. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I mean, coming back from like the big con circuit, like this Wizarding Days is pretty like chill. You know, it's, it's fun though. Nice. It's yeah. fun because like I feel like not that the East Coast is bad, but there's a definite like different personality to every con. Yes. Uh huh. And I feel like the more West Coast you go, the friendlier people get. Oh. Well, and like <laughs> Katsuko in general, there's a lot of scheduling. Like yes. you you go, you have your setup, you know where you're trying to be. But like here, you just show up and you just explore and meet yeah, friends. yeah. It's and a you, lot of it's fun. a little more chill. And I don't you have, you have to make a plan. I can just yeah. like come and hang it's out. It's less with scheduled, people. which you, is kind of nice. You get to hang out with short people like me. Yeah. 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 I just like I I'm surrounded <laughs> by yeah. I'm like surrounded by two of the most beautiful people in Utah. <laughs> <laughs> That's very sweet of you. You guys really are, though. I love you both so Aww. much. <laughs> so is there uh, any information you want to give to our audience, like where they can reach you? Or? Sure. Everywhere. Um, everywhere. everywhere. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, let's see. We have a joint Facebook page, Green Jello Cosplay. Mm -hmm. um, my personal one is the Paninator's Fantastic Cosplay. <laughs> um, or you can find me on at Panin on Instagram or on the new Vero thing. That everybody's trying out. Trying yeah. Out. We're, so, yeah. We're all experimenting with Vero. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, same for me Instagram, Facebook, anywhere you can find me is Garnet Runestar. Two words usually. They both also share like how they make all their stuff too, which is sure. absolutely we fantastic. I try really hard to make sure that either tutorials or like just straight up good progress pictures so people can know what we're doing. Yeah. It's helpful, I find. Yeah. And I, I can't think of a single Utah con where w people wouldn't run into you guys. So <laughs> if you guys are on the Utah con circuit, there's a very good chance that you'll run into these two. At least one of them. So. Somewhere. Yeah. Out in the wilderness. Out well, in the wild. Well, thank you so much. Get yes. big, big group snuggles with both yes. of you. Yeah. All right, guys, I am here with the ever-beautiful Starline Cosplay. So we are, what, what's going on here? We got the Quiver, the Quiver, and Slytherin. Yeah, I figured, you know, if I'm not cosplaying Harley, am I really cosplaying? Okay. Yeah, that, that's kind of hard <laughs> thing mean, to do. for me, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. if you take Harley to an event, it's not a real event. Really, really. Okay, but you did fight through the snow to get here, so. Yeah. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> yes, but like going through you, you're like me. You like that being doing the evil characters. Yeah. Why is yeah. that? Is evil just so much fun? I just like even from when I was a kid, I've loved bad guys. My favorite yeah. Disney character growing up was the evil queen from Snow White. Oh, <laughs> did you see the evil queen? I think. Yeah. I where is she at? She was right over there yeah. just a second ago. So maybe we'll have to go say hi. Yep. yep. <laughs> so, what have you seen around here that you've been really impressed with? Um, really like all the hardcore Harry Potter fans, just full blown robes and <laughs> cosplay. It's great. I love seeing it. Yes, like, yes. You know, uh, you got to go hard. Go hardcore, hard. hardcore. Yep. Yes. Yep. So, what are your future plans? Oh, so many. Um, I've got Luna Lovegood potentially in her lion got hat. The, the quiver. Yes, I've got my quibblers done. That's it. That's it. Um, more Daenerys. Okay, yes, more I was Game of watching Thrones. you, watching you make that, and we've had yeah. many discussions about Game of Thrones. Yes. And I know you've watched Westworld already, and I haven't yet. Yes, I've I got, need to. Dolores is almost finished. <sighs> I gotta watch right it so on. we can have a nice little talk yeah. going. If you could pick your favorite magical spell, what would it be? I don't know, I feel like I gotta go full blown evil and say Sectum Sempra. Sectum Sempra! <laughs> hey, can, we, can we get a demonstration about that? Yeah, I even got Snape's wand here. Ooh, okay. So, your mother's right there. <laughs> so, try not to hit her, okay? Okay, okay. I'll so, aim. go yeah. a little bit to the left, yeah. okay? Let's right. see it. Sectum Sempra! Well, I think we got to end things there because uh, we got to run. So, how how can people get a hold of you? Uh, Instagram, Facebook, Vero. It's all Starline Cosplay, exactly how you think it's spelled. Just look for the Harley. So. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah.